Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing the goodness of God, and last time we showed that only God can be infinite. This time we'll look at whether there can ever be an infinite amount of anything. Remember, infinite means that no matter how much of something you take away, there's always more remaining. Well, in the past, we've discussed that there are good logical reasons to doubt that it's possible to reach infinity with any number of objects, because no matter how many of a thing you have, you can always have more. Still, there are some arguments against this. For one thing, mathematicians use infinities all the time in math to do calculations. There are even rules for handling infinity in math. The reason why this doesn't count is that these infinities aren't real things, just abstract concepts like all math. And as concepts, they're not infinite in number. Each concept is only one concept, even if it's one concept of what infinity might be like. That doesn't make the concept itself infinite. Some people say that there are an infinite number of points between any two points in space, but this is still not an infinite quantity. We can imagine dividing an area of space infinitely, but that doesn't mean that we actually can. Some say that time and motion can have infinite points following from each other, but apart from the fact that there's still relatively little that can be proven about time and therefore motion in this sense, this claim still has all the same problems as the claim about dividing an area of space. Just because we can imagine an infinite number of points in time or motion doesn't mean that those points are real. The truth is that it's just not logically possible to arrive at an actual infinity through any sort of addition. If a timer starts counting and is never told to stop, it could count for a limitless period of time, but that doesn't mean that it would count to infinity, because there would never be a point where its task would end and it would stop counting due to having reached infinity. This is the difference between an actual infinity and a potential infinity. Lots of things are potentially infinite, but none of them quite get there, except for God. Next time, we can start talking about God's omnipresence, beginning with whether or not he's in everything. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.